So for those of you that are interested, this is the follow-up video to the Jetta Rust Repair. You may have seen that short I posted of the fender installation. I'm just going into a little more detail in this video for those of you that are interested, show you the quality of the work, everything that was done, stuff like that. Because I'm in here doing all this new stuff anyway, I'm getting rid of the old fender liner hardware. I picked up new fender liners. They sell a bag that has all the fender liner hardware you need, so I have a new bag of hardware. I have new lights for the hatch because those were cracked and old. I have new little fender trim pieces. And lastly, some cavity wax. This is what the guy at the body shop recommended I do. The hatch is fixed and the other parts are fixed, but it's not a bad idea to spray that in there, keep it from getting any rust in the future. I'm not driving in the winter anymore, but I don't want to take any chances. So yeah, you can buy this pretty much anywhere and I'm just waiting on the applicator to come in because I want to be able to snake it inside the hatch and just get it in the bottom there. So just a couple other details that I'm doing since I'm in here replacing so much anyway. So obviously I picked up the car the same way that I dropped it off, which was the fenders in the trunk. Not a big deal when they were primed and in a box. Much bigger deal when they're freshly painted and I've got to load them in the back, drive them home safely, unload them, and keep them somewhere until I had time to install them. For those of you who haven't installed a fender before, it's really not that bad. I would say the most difficult part is just lining it up between the hood, bumper, and door, but even that, really not that difficult. Everything went in, the new fender liners, all that stuff. It looks great, functions great. I'm really happy that I replaced the liners and the hardware, all that stuff. It worked perfectly. As far as the rockers go, they're fantastic. He actually had to make these himself because he couldn't find any. They kept sending him like the mid and rear section of the rockers and not the front. So they're great. He even matched the rock chip texture and blended that in. It looks OEM. I am hugely impressed with his work. Same goes for the hatch. I knew of a couple bad spots like the bottom left corner of the glass, the license plate mounting bolts, and the license plate lamps themselves. However, I guess when he took the glass out, there was corrosion all around that frame. So he took care of it all, resprayed it, and as far as I'm concerned, it looks great. If you look at the car in the right light at the right angle, you will see a difference between the fender and the door. That being said, I don't really care. It's 20 year old paint. You're never going to match it perfectly. The only way to remedy this would be to respray the whole car. And that's not something I want to pay for or deal with. I like the car the way it is. I can enjoy it, drive it to any parking lot. I'm not really worried about it. If I had new paint, that wouldn't be the case. Overall, I'm really happy with the work that's done and I'm really happy that I got it done. Not having any rust is really great and not driving the car in the winter anymore means I shouldn't have a problem with this in the future. This car should be good to go for however long I want to continue to own it. If you have any specific questions about how much the work cost or where I got it done, please send me a private message. The price for this type of work can vary so much depending on location, the type of shop, and the type of work you have to get done, so it's just not something I want to discuss here. Thanks so much for checking out this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out some of my other DIY videos if you're interested, and if you like what I'm posting, don't forget to subscribe.